Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I am Death from Above. Today, I want to take a little time, face to face, and talk about exotic auto rifles. So I have each one of them on my person. We're gonna do some PvP and decide which one of them I like, which one of them, which one of them is the best as far as this situation right here. We've got the Zalo Supercell, we've got the Kvostov, we've got the Hard Light. Fabian Strategy, Monte Carlo, and Soros Regime. I'm including the Fabian Strategy because I am on my Titan and it is an auto rifle. So, I figured this would be a fun video to make. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an extended video so you get a lot of content with this one. I want to give you live reactions to each one of the guns and kind of feel them out. See which ones I think are, uh, and are good and where they're at and what I like about them. So, it's going to be personal preference. But I think it'll be fun either way. So I am doing this live on Twitch, so chat will be below me. If anybody has any comments, questions, or input, they'll feel free to do that. And we'll, uh, we're going to have a nice little fun romp in the Crucible with some auto rifles. Now I have I have tested, I, let me see, I've tested the Zalo last night a little bit in PvP. Uh, Fabian a little bit. I have not touched the Monte Carlo or the Hard Lights since the 2502 patch. Uh, the Kvostov and the Suros I have looked at, so I'm pretty familiar with how they perform. Uh, but speaking of auto rifles, look at this Grim Citizen I got. Let me know if it's any good. Range Finder, Perfect Balance, Hand Laid Stock, Small Bore, and Danger. Close with the Red Dot ORS, Quick Draw IS, and Range Lens RLS 3. So I wanted to do like an auto rifle top whatever. But there's too many auto rifles. I was like, I was like, well, I can do three exotics, three legendaries, and I was like, let's just do all exotics because there are enough exotics for me to take a look at each one. I am a little stuffy this morning. I don't know where that's coming from, but I'll uh, it it just ex it exacerbates it just a little bit because I have to look up to play. So unless I stand up, which I'm, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm not standing up. So currently we're going to start with these all the supercell. We're going to run the meta the rest of the way. We got the wormwood sidearm. We're going to run a uh, striker titan. I've been having fun with the feedback fence uh, as far as feeding back and punching people. So it's been pretty nice. Uh, the wormwood is just the wormwood. It's just that good. Uh, I do switch between the wormwood and the teacup tempest. Uh, I might. I think I'm going to go teacup tempest this time around. My teacup has the same talents, but it's got a. Uh, Casket mag, so I get increased mag size with a little bit of reduction in stability, but that Zen moment takes care of all that. So we're gonna run in the Teacup Tempest. It's a hollow supercell for the first part of the first match. We'll bounce around between the auto rifles, see which one I think is working for me, which one I like better. Because some of them are gonna have some range, some of them won't have range. Some of them are gonna play a little bit differently because they're not all the same archetype. So the Zala is the mid-impact, mid rate of fire, same as the Fabian, but the Fabian kind of bounces around. Hard light is the same. The Kvostov is whatever you want it to be. I leave it on high impact, low rate of fire. Suros is the Suros, and the Monte Carlo is the mid tier. So three mid rate of fire autos, one high rate of fire, and two low rate of fires. Should be a nice little comparison uh, that we're doing here. And what? It, okay, guys in YouTube, in chat, what is your favorite exotic right now? Which of these six do you like the best? Which do you find is the most fun to use? And that can be PvE or PvP. Because I use them both places. Uh, the Suros I use in some PV PvE. Uh, but mainly PvP. I'm mainly PvP with these guns. Because I find that PvE I end up doing a lot of uh, scout rifling. Hand cannons are coming back in PvE though. I was using some hand cannons the other day. And they felt real nice in the PvE. So that was something that I thought was uh, an interesting situation. An interesting Turnabout. Mm -hmm. So let me know in the comments which ones of those you like. The drink for the morning is Soylent Coffeeist mixed with one uh, Optimum Nutrition, not one, Optimum Nutrition Casein Chocolate Protein and 1% milk. I felt like getting specific on what I'm drinking because I'm going to be taking sips every once in a while. So you can be like, oh, that's his breakfast drink. It's basically coffee with protein and a meal replacement drink. It's kind of a, it's a breakfast in a cup. <laughs> if you put it my way. It's an acquired taste, but I like it. So, I was playing with the Supercell last night. And it didn't, it didn't, it didn't catch me. I was using rifled barrel. 
I think I'm gonna go with braced frame for this morning's video stream, whatever this thing is, and just run it like that. Um, let's go aggressive. Let's get weird with it. Let's go aggressive, braced frame. Get more impact. We're gonna lose some range because of braced frame, and we'll lose some mag size. But I think that impact and that uh, stability will make up for it. Hopefully, we get a close quarters map. It didn't tell us what we're playing. Okay, this will work. So the Zalo is the only primary in the game right now that has any type of uh, elemental damage. Oh, sir. You just got assisted on. I assisted all over you, bruh. I'm going to go backside, B-side, and see if they're uh, pushing up this way. It didn't look like they were. Nope. Yep, there's one. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. I got that artifact. Nope, he went that way. Which way are you going, runner? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude, hold on. <laughs> they always go so fast. It's like they're in a rush. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get out of the way. I'll play back for you. Got him. Nice. Nice plays. There's another guy over here somewhere. Did he die? Did they get him? Yeah, they did. I always try to Titan skate with my, uh... Nope. I like the braced frame. Um, this, this map, you just gotta know where you're playing and know what your distance is and not play... What's this guy doing? Did he leave? Okay. Well, that guy's dead. <laughs> Little Teacup Tempest action for you right there. That's not the rate of fire. Oh, hello. Well, you're dead. No, you're not dead. Okay. He meleeed me and my feedbacks did not give it to him. I guess if you die, they don't work. I don't know where the... Did we stop the runner? Okay, good. So the Zalo is an interesting uh, interesting gun because you have some pretty wide-ranging options as far as range and stability goes. Um, I find that I need a little bit of stability, but not, lot, not a lot. And the range is kind of important. Like that situation, I was getting some damage fall off. Just, just was. Oh, there's a lot of mans looking at me right now. I'll do like a top three at the end, which ones I like the best. Which ones I think are the top. I mean, it's already it's already pretty well known which of these auto rifles is good. But you'll see people using like the Supercell. I saw Mr. Sean do a video about the Supercell talking about how amazing it is. Um, <clears throat> so stuff like that. You'll, uh, you'll see different opinions, and I think that's a good thing. I think that's kind of what you want right now. In the crucible and oh, get out of there! See, gotten killed by the hard light. We'll get there, hard light. We'll get there. We're kind of doing real good with the rift running right now. We're running the rift raft. Oh, we got the oh. Just as I say that, solid, solid team. So we'll probably do a half match with each one of these guns. The supercell right now is my most interesting weapon in the crucible because I don't know if it's good or not. It appears to be good, but then you get killed by something like the hard light. But I think I got team shot right there. So, uh, honestly, I think it's just a good time in the Crucible because everybody's like, well, I like this gun. Let's see if it's good. Oh, it works for me, so I'm going to use it. That's that's what I've always hoped for uh, the Crucible. Why would you go that way? Why would you go that way? Nope, he's not going that way. Which way are you going? I would love to defend you, sir. Against all of your enemies. Where'd that bad guy go? I don't know where he is. I'm just gonna go kill stuff. Okay. I feel like it could have done better in that engagement. If I was getting headshots. Oh, this guy has no idea. Where is he? Punch me. <laughs> he had no idea what he was doing. People don't pay attention to you wearing these uh, the feedback fence. Oh, I bet I sent him flying. There's no, there's no telling where he landed. <laughs> that was kind of fun. So uh, we're about halfway through this match. Let's switch it up. Let's go with something I haven't used before. Let's go with the Monte Carlo. This will give me some, uh, some extra punch. I like the Monte Carlo. It's pretty smooth as far as how it plays. No, I knew he was coming. I knew it. 
Uh, the thing about the Monte Carlo is it's very smooth and unique. Uh, but it's like got hip fire and send it and Monte Carlo method. Did we win? What happened? Oh, oh, we mercyed them. Okay. Well, that'll happen. <laughs> I guess we'll do. <laughs> I guess we'll do the Monte Carlo next match. Uh, thoughts on the Zala Supercell? I played it. I played it uh, about two matches last night. It's. It doesn't fit me. I don't know. The stability just does something. If you have it on rifle barrel, you don't have enough stability. If you have it on brace frame, you don't have enough mag and range. So, pick your poison. If you like it, it works for you. Do it. Uh, it just. It's just kind of in the middle for me. You can't. You can't quite figure out what it wants to be. In PVE, honestly, it's amazing. But PVP, I don't know. It never. It never has attached itself to me favorably. That was a clever way to say that. Uh, but next up, we got the Monte Carlo, uh, a gun that doesn't have a lot of stability options, honestly. So you get what you get. I'm gonna throw in some auto rifle loader gloves just so I can uh, do a little bit better. The Zala is just kind of, you know, it's good. I like it. Uh, certain situations, it's fine. At close quarters maps, these guns are gonna perform better uh, than long range maps just because of their auto rifleness. Uh, CQB, smart drift control, and aggressive. Yes, smart drift control, but that aggressive looks so nice. Field scout, high caliber rounds, send it. I like having range. We're gonna keep range on this gun. I've got that super spy. What does Royal Flush look like? Nah. We're gonna go super spy. The good thing about these ornaments is once you have them, they're always there. You can activate, deactivate, do whatever you want to do. I was always afraid if I deactivated, I was gonna have to get another ornament. It's not true. So we're gonna run red and gray. <clears throat> on the Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo is my least used one. I haven't used this gun very much lately at all. So we'll see how it does. I haven't really been killed by it either. It seems to me that the hard light is the one everyone's favoring. I'm not really sure why. Uh, quick draw could be it. Spray and play. I mean, you've got your options between stability or speed, damage. Volatile light is cool. I don't understand why it says there's no damage fall off because you do have damage fall off on this gun. Uh, it'd be nice if this was a gun that just didn't have damage fall off. The you know the bullets just sort of spread out. Uh, CQB ballistics gives me that max stability. That could be interesting. It was a lot of range there though. So, uh, but first we're gonna deal with the Monte Carlo. Then we'll probably look at the hard light next. We're gonna save Kvostov. We'll do some Fabian strategy. That one was interesting to me the other day. I was kind of doing real well with it, and I didn't know if that was the match or what. I think it was the first day after the patch or the second day. People still couldn't quite figure out what to do. They figured out side numbers pretty quick, but uh, they hadn't figured out primaries yet. What I like about the current meta, I think they do need to adjust special ammo for sidearms. That's just a little, it's a little odd compared to the rest of the weapons that you can just keep sidearm ammo but everything else goes away so I heard an, an, an idea going around that they should just make you lose half of your special ammo each time you die something like that which could work it could work I don't really know if that's the best solution or if that even is a necessary solution it may, it may be fine Bungie it may be for Bungie working exactly as they intend although I doubt it so Teacup Tempest is fun. I like the high impact, low rate of fire, sidearm. It's pretty fun. But I'm interested to see what the Monte Carlo does for me. I need to remember to hip fire at some. See if that's an advantage. I've never really done that. We'll mess with the stability. We'll go with aggressive at some point. Maybe switch it around. I kind of want to get a feel for the gun right now with the stability and then bounce back and forth. Rift is an interesting game mode to do this in because the traffic patterns of players is different and kind of erratic. It's kind of like Clash. You never quite know where someone's going to be. If it's control or, you know, supremacy is the same. If it's, basically, if it's control, uh, Rift is a little bit predictable because everybody has to get to the Rift. All right, last exit should be a pretty decent map. For the Monte Carlo, nothing's really long range, as long as you play it right. That can be some long engagements. You just do the lines of sight. Is that an airplane? I guess that's a train. 
Alright, let's go fight for the spark. I'm gonna go inside. Oh, I still haven't figured out. Like, I can Titan Skate without the shoulder charge, but putting shoulder charge into the skate is a little bit different. What are you doing? I want all those grenades to go away. Nah, I can't quite get it. The unbent tree, but I got the grenade kill. You guys been using the unbent tree at all? I really noticed it. We have the spa. I'm gonna do an end around because their rift will be over here. Let's see if we can't get the Monte Carlo to do something. Something. Show me something good. Hi. Oh, you got the drop on me big time. I didn't even hit him. I have got to do the raid to get the Genesis chain. That's the one gun that I don't have that's probably the best. So, I need to make sure I get that gun at some point. Did we score? No. No. Mmm. The Mago looped. So far, nothing doing with the Monte Carlo. Everybody's getting a drop on me or uh, I'm missing my shots. Shots, shots, shots. Little John would not be proud of me right now. Alright, this is the last time I go to this door if I get murdered. Actually, let's go in here. Actually, we need to go defend our roof. See you. Can we win an engagement? Yes, we can. You stay over there. Just throw the grenade to get them to go over there. Hi. You're not looking at me. I will kill you. Ooh. Got me with a Genesis chain again. That guy's doing pretty good. Alright, they have the ball. Well, let's go this way. Can't get a, uh, a sneaky shoulder charge. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, I never did go look at the uh, the gun at the Vanguard. Let's just do it in Destiny Item Manager. Ouch. Why would you spawn me like that? That's not cool, bro. Am I not going to? Yeah. Fat bag fill. Not a name I would want. All right, let's see what we can do with aggressive ballistics. If that gives us any advantage or changes anything, really, because I don't think it will. It makes me play in this room more, though, because the uh, the range is going to be even shorter. Look at all these dudes. Oh, can I not, please? Oh, man. What? Oh, and it's... Huh? I don't know. I guess the runner was killed. <laughs> I really don't know what just happened there. The feedback fence don't work if you're dead. Thank you. Thank you. Aggressive ballistics does throw a little bit more damage. I think it went from 20 to 22. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe it harder to handle, but it definitely feels like it's got some more oomph. What? Get out of here. You nonsense. <laughs> that guy was like, hmm? I don't care about your punches. Your punches taste like candy. Alright. Aggressive ballistics. I do notice a lot more bounce. In the, uh, the gun. Let's see if we just sit on him. I'm above you. <laughs> I'm above you, bruh. Hold on. Where's the runner? Get behind me. Oh, got him. Got him. All right, bro. Just hang out. I'll be there in just a second. 6.30. I need to go wake up my wife. This is a daily activity in the streams. Oh, I'm going to tag him. I'm going to tag him, too. The range drop-off is so real, though. Hey, we scored. Can I get behind him? Nope, they're dead. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back over here. All right, I'm going to take a break. A dance break. we got to go wake her up. Be right back. Has 
Heavy ammo available. Uh -oh. Not gonna make it there. Look at this guy. He's like camping me. No, he's dead. That guy's dead. Oh, that's not gonna end well for me. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could get there. My wife told me. At first, she told me something that. I, you ever wake up and try to talk like right when you wake up? It doesn't work. So she was trying to tell me something because I always go wake her up, and then she's like, "Wake me up in 15 minutes." She's trying to tell me that she doesn't have to be to work till like 8:30, so I'm just gonna let her sleep till then. Bruh, there's so many mans and I can't find them. Where'd they go? All right, fat bag Phil. You're on my list, bruh. Oh, that Continental looks pretty interesting. It's because it has focus fire. All right, let's go this way. <laughs> How much special ammo do I need? Not that much. Good kill, bruh. Good kill. I can go with aggressive. I don't really miss the stability. I mean, it does all right. Gotcha. So many mans, but I killed the runner. So good, good, good. Yeah, I think the Monte Carlo is in the same boat as the Zala Supercell. If you like it, it's going to do pretty awesome for you. If you're like me and you're not really, eh, you're just kind of whatever, it may not be the best choice for you. But let's move on to the hard light. I like the hard light. It's an interesting gun. I always leave it on fitted stock, accurate We might switch to aggressive. <laughs> and glass that full. I always go for max range and stability on auto rifles, and I think it might be the wrong move. I think you might want to go with max impact. But we'll see. It's a good for a laser light show. Mmm. The wormwood. I should have known. <laughs> should have known that was going to happen. <clears throat> but I like it. It's a distraction tool, too. So if someone's doing something, and you can, that's why I fired in the hallway like that. The exotic talent makes it pretty easy to uh, have a little fun with it. And I think this one, for some reason, hits better than the others. Better aim assist, I don't know. I've found, though, with the hard light, I do the best. If I'm comparing it to the Monte Carlo and the, uh, the other one. Ooh, the Claylock. Well, sir, that's not appreciated. Rifle barrel, yeah, that Continental is really good. So the Vendor Continental has Focus Fire, Eye of the Storm, Perfect Balance, Rifle Barrel, and Hidden Hand. The Hidden Hand is what makes that so interesting. Oh, strafe, 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 strafe. Got killed by the unbent tree. Oh, what? He looked like he was holding a hand cannon. I guess he had his sidearm out. I really don't know what's going on there. That was a little weird. Oh, you dead. So, oh, walked right into his smoke. Not cool, bruh. Not cool, bruh. All right, where's the baddies? The baddie bads. I know you're there. I know you're there. All right, laser light show, let's go. Narkin's taking me out, man. <clears throat> So, the, the hard light feels a little bit harder to control. It may be the scope, it may be how it shoots, it may be the, the hitboxes that it has, something like that. Make this a more interesting gun to me. Uh, hello. Can I please? Did I get him? No. 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 So of the three, the Monte Carlo, the Hard Light, and the Zalo in PvP, which one's your favorite? For me, it's the Hard Light. Punch me. Punch me. Oh, you're dead. I know it. I know this to be true. I punched you twice. I was waiting on him to punch me because I have the feedback fence on, but he didn't. Hey, they scored. Yay. Look at this jerk. Ha! Back in the action. The medal you never want to get. Does it mean you suck? Alright, over here. Over here, bro. Over here, bro. Oh, you just got worked right now. That was all headshots. All headshots. Oh. Ha! Okay. I didn't really want to waste that slam on him, but I figured I'd at least kill him. 
And this guy with the play lock is laying it down. Oh, I didn't get him. <laughs> the thing stopped me. I'm not chasing though. What? That center section, they have total control of it. Total control. So the hard light, we're in we're coming towards the end of this match. I kinda wanna get onto the other guns, so the hard light's good. Alright. Let's get another kill with it. There we go. Hard light's good. I like the hard light in PvP. It's it's like we're kind of moving up the ladder unintentionally. Hard light, you know, we have the uh, Supercell and the Monte Carlo. The hard light's a little bit better than those two. Uh, let's move on to the Fabian. Let's do the outlier, the Fabian strategy. This gun, I don't know, man. I just don't know. It felt good the one time. Let's see if it continues to feel good. We'll keep doing Rift since that'll keep it a little bit consistent as far as the game's style. We'll keep doing some Rift. I mean, I got 18 kills. It's not bad. Really not bad at all. Uh, the Fabian strategy, in theory, it fits my playstyle more than anything else. I leave it on rifled barrel, because the other two just, I don't think, do as much good. Uh, linear compensator, got smooth ballistics, yeah, we'll leave it on that. I've got max impact going on there with max range. We can get a little bit more stability out of it, but I find with this gun, you need to be playing close. Because you don't activate that talent until you get close. So you need to get close. Because it's a mid rate of fire auto rifle until you get close, then it becomes a high rate of fire. in kind of a different way because focus fire takes you down the Fabian strategy takes you up hopefully we can continue without much in the way of loading 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 yeah okay good so let's take a look at the Fabian strategy while we wait rifled barrel I like it, it gives you some decent range front lines increased handling stability and rate of fire when enemies are close Kills automatically reload a portion of the mag. I forgot about that. That's that's semi new. That was a more recent add to this gun, which makes it a little bit better. And it has crowd control inherently. So those two talents kind of work together uh, in PVE and PVP a little bit less so because you're just not going to stack that many kills with this gun together. But mm, you could, you really could get a crowd control to proc, get that extra mag size, get another kill, and just keep it rolling. Maybe. Never really had that situation arise for me in Crucible. But I'm sure it can happen. So of the three, I like the hard light the best so far. Of these three, hard light's the best. Um, I already know. I mean, listen, we're not going to lie. Soros is good. You know it's good. We'll save that one for last. The Kvostov is a, is a dark horse in this whole thing because it can be anything. And I've had some pretty good success with it. So the Kvostov is an interesting gun that is pretty dang decent. Uh, and then we got the Soros, obviously good. Fabian strategy. So, I mean, this will be a true test of this gun to see. Because I was running, I ran it on Floating Gardens, the Fabian strategy. And I was just running through people. And I don't know what was happening. So we need to retry that. I'm really, I'm really kind of excited about this gun. If I had to pick one right now, without testing the other three, I'd, I'd, I mean, I've used the Kvostov. It's pretty good. It's pretty fun. I like the Kvostov. Uh, but we'll see. I haven't really played a lot with either of these. I kind of played a couple matches with this one, played one match with this one. And I was like, that Kvostov feels good. Because the Kvostov, you can push the range out with a rifled barrel, but you still have pretty good accuracy. Uh, the stability is pretty good at longer ranges, mid-range, really. So I kind of enjoy that. So it's a, it's a good gun. It's a pretty good gun. Interesting gun. I like what I'm. I like what I'm feeling on that gun. Hoo so today is currently Thursday. I gotta go to the DMV today. Not excited about that. Hopefully they open a new one near my office, a work office. So it's not like, I don't like own the office, but they opened a new one near me. And it's supposed to be shorter lines, shorter weights. I'm hoping that one's not too bad. Not too bad today. But you never know. Do you want to switch? Let's switch to the Wormwood. 
Just for funsies. Full meta ease. Let's go sword. Sword? Sword. I mean, we're not going to use it at all. If we do, it'll just be silly. So Fabian strategy. What is the... I actually did look up the Fabian strategy. The Fabian strategy is to act like you're running away. And when they start to pursue you, you turn around and ambush them. That's basically the Fabian strategy. It, there's a lot more nuances to it. It's from like ancient Roman times. But that was the general strategy. They think you're running away, so they start to pursue. And then you turn and you know set your trap on them. And they, it, used, it was like guerrilla warfare back in the 200s. <laughs> basically. Um, they used it because somebody invaded uh, Italy or one of those areas and they were just like running around they could they didn't have an army big enough to stop them so they had to figure out a different way to kind of make it miserable for that army to be in their land so they did the Fabian strategy they would just but it was one of those things that takes a long time to actually work and I think the politics of it kind of got they kind of got tired of it they're like we need to beat these guys and the generals were like we can't beat them we gotta do this. And they're like, no, we want to beat them. It's funny that we get floating gardens. I'm gonna jump up there again. Man, I knew it. I knew it. One melee man. This dude right now. He's not even running the feedback fences. I'm the melee man. You don't know. Really, just 37? That's it. Oh my God. Oh, him again. Oh, he's running the Peregrine Greaves. That's what's going on. So my daughter's sitting up in bed. Let's see if she goes back to sleep. Where is the runner? Oh! I knew I was going to get a hit, but I thought, I'm, I thought I'd kill him. Oh, well. That didn't happen. We might have to take an intermission for me to go uh, take care of my daughter. She's getting a little bit wiggly. All right, Fabian strategy, go. No. It's a bit of a distance engagement there that you don't want to run with the Fabian. No, not against that gun. Wow, we're getting work this match. Hi. Hi. Jump. Did he go around? Aha! Enemy runner ceased. We haven't really even done anything with the Fabian strategy yet. Mm -mm. That's that Telelight guy again. I ain't gonna happen, bro. See, that's what I don't get about the Fabian. It's like, that's actually pretty dang good. There's my moats. I needed the moats. All right, Fabian, Fabian's pretty good. I, I think I like it more than it's probably good. But it's an entertaining gun. All right, where's the runner going? Let's go this way. I'm gonna go to the back side. This guy's got my number. You gotta get. You gotta be moving forward with the Fabian and getting them up close. Uh, if you're trying to range them, you're gonna lose. The Fabian is a is an on the move gun. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's an on the move gun. We scored. Nice. Knife. So you really don't want to be here. You kind of want to be down in the uh, down in the corridors with this gun, like right here. Like that's too far. Too damage. Ain't gonna do me no good. Oh, here we go, baby. Where is he at? Up top, up top. He is up top. So I think yeah, push aggressively with the Fabian strategy. Go for those shoulder charges, those punches, and just be that guy. All right, he's going backside. Maybe. Come here! No! <laughs> it's hard to aim though. We're gonna switch up to the Kavostov. Try bones. What's up? We're going to switch over to the Kvostov. Fabian strategy is good in those situations. Up close, running and gunning. 
where you can run them down. If you're chasing them, it's going to be harder. Now, let's take a look at the Kvostov because there's many different options, and this is how I've got mine set up. These two I have more experience with. So we've got automatic rifled barrel counterbalance 450. I've had I've had three or four matches with this gun. I know I like it. I know it's pretty good. Uh, it's surprisingly good. Don't even try. How am I? Okay. Okay. I was expecting to get killed through a wall. And that's been happening lately. It's been happening. Destiny Connections, man. Destiny Connections. I'm going to make an app called Destiny Connections where every time you try to communicate with somebody, it's off by a little bit. It'll be called Destiny Collection or Connections. <laughs> Your communication isn't quite right. Destiny Connections. So like I really. Ooh. Oh man, one melee man got us. I like the the uh, I like the rate of fire. I like how it's just kind of tap 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 tap. The only problem is it's a uh, it's a gun that's if you. Oh hello. Hello. See, I feel comfortable at that range with this gun. Help me. You don't know nothing about me. I just one punched you. Try to punch me. Tell you what. I don't think he even hit me though, and my melee went off. Like my uh, feedback fence went off. Oh, you missed. You missed, bruh. Gotta hit that one. Haha, <laughs> grenade. I got you with my grenade. Got myself with a micro grenade too. Play back, play back, play back. Get the kill. Nope. It's it's better. It's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. Not the best. It's a close match. I'm enjoying this closeness of this match. So the Kvostov I really like with this setup, but you can run high rate of fire and it's still good. Like it's still effective. Like this setup, I can hit him. Like I can hit him. I can get you. Oh, you want to run it? Let's run it. Let's run it. I'm going to go this way. Look down the barrel. Guys, you're going to get out in front of me? I need you to. Look at this guy. See his booty. Oh, what a grenade. Oh, hello. No. No. Nope. I'm going to get deaded. Should not have engaged. Huh? I look like I got the kill. I don't know about that. All right, let's get one more with the Kvostov. Then we're gonna go with the Suros. The Suros is probably the most widely known, widely accepted auto rifle, just because of how good it was in year one. And I was there. I was there, man. I was there in year one. I loved it. It was my my favorite. All right, we killed one punch man again, or one melee man. Time for some Sorosin. Ever gonna get Overwatch? Probably not. Uh, maybe if it goes on Mega Cell or something, but it probably won't. Oh, we're gonna get you again, huh? Nope. No, we're not. Why is he one melee man? Why can't he just be one punch man? It's not like that name would have been taken. <laughs> I do have it on Focus Fire. I think I like spinning up a little bit better. Let's get the special, because why not? Uh, Focus Fire is gonna give you a pretty decent amount of range, though. Oh, I wanna kill this guy. That's for show. Sure. There we go. Another guy over here. That's a little far. A little far for a sidearm, but not too far. Not too far. Alright, we need to get some more Sarosin in. Pulling into the lead here. Yes, from above, team's pulling into the lead with the, with the Rift match. He's got a slam. There's a guy way over there kind of throwing things at him. I don't know what that was, Jim. I don't know, T. T? Who's T? I'm dead. Very dead. Improper engagement there by Death from Above. You're going to be playing it a lot this Friday. Overwatch is a game that I've got attention on, but I just never know if I'm going to get it. I mean, money is a concern. You jerk. Turn around, be aggressive, and get slammed. Nah. <laughs> he thought he was going to get me. Now, I will play the Suros a little bit different because I know it has more range than the other auto rifles, and it's a slower firing auto rifle. So like this right here. I'll play at this range with the Suros. <clears throat> It'll be effective. Palindrome is more effective. Uh, Cirrus will be effective. I like the tink, 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 tink in the headshots. <clears throat> so after this match, we'll do a bit of a tier list, which ones I think are the best. Uh, how I think they all stack up against each other. As far as that goes, let's get this kill. 
Bing, 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 bing. I love that noise. Man, brings back so many memories. Oh, runners down. Oh, and we had a clear path all the way to the rift. What are you doing over here, bro? Nope. Well, we won. I nailed the coffin. So, top exotic auto rifles. Really, it's just all the exotic auto rifles. <clears throat> so let's talk about let's talk about them after we see how I did, because I don't think I did very well. I think it was probably a poor performance from myself. But I think I like these better when I'm doing top list to kind of get a full 11 kills. Not bad. I mean, it's not the worst. And hey, they rewarded me with a fusion rifle with rangefinder. That's pretty good. We'll check that out in a minute. Actually, hold on. So we'll have to go. We'll have to go to the tower if I don't move something in 14 seconds. That's the item manager. Don't fail me now. Okay, move it. Yep. Okay. We'll check out that 77 wizard while we talk about the final auto rifles. <clears throat> so, which one's your favorite? Let me know right now which one are you like and which one are you using. And uh, are you even playing Destiny? If you're not playing Destiny, what are you doing here? I know Dry Bones is playing Overwatch, but he likes to hang out in the morning while I stream. I am streaming if you want to go follow the Twitch channel. Links in the description. <clears throat> I do stream on YouTube sometimes, too. Just when the mood hits me. Usually in the evenings when I can do a, a longer stream. All right, let's get out of the rift. Out, 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 off, 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 off. Did you guys, did you guys ever get stuck in this? Like... Okay, there we go. Off. I always think of finding Dory with the seals going off, 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 off. So we got quick draw, brace frame. Ooh, that's that's a keeper. That's a quick. That's a that's a keeper. <laughs> brace frame and range finder. I love brace frame because on a fusion rifle, I don't care how big my mag is. So that's definitely a keeper. Lock it up. So there's a reward. So auto rifles of the six top three: uh, Suros regime, Gavostov, and I would say hard light. Those are my top three. So this diagonal right here, which is my favorite, um, probably the Suros. I mean, honestly, it's been my favorite for a long, long time. Nostalgia aside, it is the most effective of the six too, because it has the most range. I mean, it's just it just outranges every other auto rifle. Monte Carlo has similar range, but uh, it just can't get there. Nothing else really can get there. So uh, I'm gonna go with the Suros. Obviously, that's a it's a crowd favorite in the Crucible, so <clears throat> let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know which ones you like the most. If you want me to go into detailed depth about any one of these guns, let me know in the comments. And I'll do that. But subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Only if you enjoyed it. Don't like it if you didn't enjoy it. You can down like it if you don't want if you want to. If you made it this far and you want to hit that thumbs down, do it. Please don't do it. <laughs> but you can if you want to. Uh, but anyway, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Death for Above, and I will see you later. See you, bye.